I'm Marco Cochran, and I'm at the Renwick Gallery, and this is Truth is Beauty. Truth is Beauty is a 18-foot sculpture made out of stainless steel. It's the one-third scale version of the giant one, which is 55 feet tall, that was at Burning Man. I first went to Burning Man in 2007, and that was a pretty crazy year. There was 10 30-foot figures, and that got me thinking about scale. My intent with these sculptures is to ask women to express how they would feel if they were safe. Find that place in themselves that's, that's just expressing how they would be if, if they could do whatever they wanted. What happens is people see it and go, wow, that's really beautiful. And then they walk around and go, wow, like, is this a real person? And they go, yeah, it is a real person. The model for this piece is Deja Solis. With this one, and she's accepting her truth, which is that she's tall. The thing that she worries about, just I guess people have to worry about something all the time. And um, so height was the thing she was worried about at the time, and uh, accepting that. And this was her reaction to just feeling like, okay, I'm tall, and I'm just going to be tall. Deja and I worked together to make it feel right. When she would go, like, I'm sculpting and she's seeing what I'm doing and she goes, no, it's a little more like this. And it would, she would change her body a little bit to get it to say what she wanted it to say. I think the interesting, the interesting thing about sculpture and figurative sculpture is that it speaks in body language. And body language is 80% of our communication. And this is saying something on a really cellular level all the time. Most people think this is done by a computer and that there are computers involved with making these and there aren't any, there's no computers involved in making this. This is all old style, made by hand, sculpting. Pretty old technology. <laughs> the enlarger, enlargements are done with a pantograph, which is was invented in 1602, so that's old tech. Uh, the hair is made out of stainless steel cable that's been unwound and then made into individual strands and then welded onto a structure and then put on the head. There's some level of, of uh, it's okay to look at them because they're so huge. When they're life size, people kind of go, mm, I'm not, like, that's too, am I supposed to look at that? But when they're giant, it, it works. And um, hopefully that humanity comes through.